Sanana here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you three simple and exciting science experiments. So, let's get right into them. Okay, so for the first experiment, we're going to need three cups, two cups filled with water, one cup empty. And paper towels I have three here they're just joined let's just yeah so I have three paper towels they're just tissue and some paint you can use food coloring but I do not have food colorings of two different colors so I'm using my acrylic paint I'm just using red and yellow so first thing you want to do is put this cup in the middle the empty cup just like this take one of your paints I'm using my red first and I'm gonna just Now you can put a less of what I used but these colors are not very strong so I'm putting more and we just mix this now that looks mixed there are still some colors that are not coming and I'll just keep it next to the paint now what you're going to do is fold it fold the paper towel Fold it twice like this. If you have a thin one like me, it should be about this thin. And take the second one. Okay, so we have both of our paper towel here. Now, if you're wondering why this one is near, well, that's because to clean up later. Now, you just fold it a little bit like this and keep this here like this and this in here and as you can see what is happening is that the water is going up Well, the water is reaching up to here. And we just need to wait. Now you just need to have all of this aside. Okay, so guys, this is an update. It's been an hour. And as you can see, there's water now. So the water water has traveled all the way from here, up, and back down. The paper As down. You can see this one is like orange. Well, it's actually more reddish than orange, but then slight, a slight color of orange you can see. So for the second one, we are going to be making oobleck. Now to make it, you need corn flour or corn starch and a little bit of water and a bowl or you can also use a plate, but I'm using a bowl. So what I want to do first is get the corn flour out. As you can see, it gets really messy. So I ask you to be cautionate about it, but luckily I can clean it up. Now, you want to pour water only a little bit and just see if it's the right amount. Okay, so I've added a little bit of water. I'm gonna add all of this, just like this. Now you need less water than the cornstarch. As you can see, it's 
starting to change a lot. Okay, so I've gotten more water. Just need a little bit more. And that should be enough. Now you can see it's forming this substance. Now this is all black. It's like a solid. But then it's also water at the same time. As you can see, it's like water. But then like, if I try molding it like something, it's like not water. If I quickly try mold molding it, then it's not, it's like hard. But now it's all watery. As you can see, it's like all of this very watery but hard substance. It's really fun to play with. You can also use food coloring to just color this. Okay, for, for so for this, we need a straight glass. I'm using a wine glass because it's the only straight glass I could find. And we need a small piece of paper with something like an arrow or a smiley face. There's an arrow pointing up, but that arrow is pointing down. That's an optical illusion. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you a bonus thing. So you need a wine glass specifically, okay? Or a straight glass. Fill it with water as per your taste. I just had it filled like this. And what you're going to do is dip your finger in water, take it out, just put it here to just wet in the outer rim and here comes your bonus signs. This is just like an instrument and if you look closely the water vibrates look so guys this is the end of the video if you enjoyed please leave a like and share my videos with your friends and family and subscribe too and bye